Jack. They call me Jack Daddy. I like to build things. Uh, I figured I'd make some videos to show you guys how I build them. That's my rooster voodoo. Maybe you can learn some things. Maybe you can uh, enjoy watching this stuff. Maybe you can build your own stuff. All right, hunting season's almost over. That means you guys gotta figure out what you're gonna do with all those massive bucks you've killed, and your wife will not let you spend that much money to mount all of them. So, European mount, next best option. And how are you gonna hang those European mounts? Today I'm gonna show you how you can build your own uh, skull hanger. Kinda looks like a skull hooker a little bit. I got some ideas from skull hooker, but it's not a skull hooker, it's a skull hanger. And it's, uh, it looks really cool, it looks really modern, works really well allows for a whole bunch of adjustability. Don't let your antlers sit in the shed and get chewed up by rats and squirrels. Put them on a wall. And as good as these things look, your wife might even let you hang them in the den. Today I'm gonna to show you the best way to hang your deer skulls, your European mounts, whatever. Uh, if it's a skull, you can use these to hang it. So it's kind of like a skull hooker. I don't have one, I've seen them. Uh, they look a lot of, like a lot of money to me. And I thought, man, I can build something better than that and uh, cooler than that. So. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna make a hanger out of all aluminum. So what you're gonna need is some rod, aluminum rod, uh, 3 8 inch. You're gonna need some quarter inch aluminum rod, and you're gonna need aluminum tube, half inch. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a seven and a quarter piece out of the 3 8 rod, and then we're gonna bend it. I'm gonna show you all that. So we're gonna bend it to look just like that. All right. And then we're gonna take a, a, a three inch piece of two. This will slide down in there. And then we're going to take a, uh, a three inch piece of that quarter inch rod and we're going to bend it into a U shape. And we're going to weld that on there. And then we're going to take this template that I made out of cardstock of an arrowhead and uh, we're going to cut a bunch of pieces of aluminum out. This is going to be our wall plate. So this piece will weld onto this piece and then we'll bolt this piece onto the wall. This piece right here will go into our skull, and then we'll slide it into the tube like that. And that will hold our deer skull on the wall the best way. DIY skull hooker, uh, out of aluminum, lightweight, won't rust, looks really cool. Stay tuned. We got all our arrowheads cut out, and get them cleaned up. And then when you wanna cut your tube, half inch aluminum tube, uh, where this right here slides in. So when you're going to buy your stuff, just make sure that it slides in there. You're gonna cut these at three inches. All right, now we're gonna go bend our quarter inch rod and uh, we're gonna make just a U-shape just like that. The best way to do this, uh, you wanna take a quarter inch rod, bend the vise, but you just want it just enough where it fits under that back side, just like that. That's what's gonna hold it in place. So when you bend it, have a deer skull handy and just get it where you can fit it right behind those little parts that mount to the, or that go into the spinal cord. Just like that, right behind it. Now we're gonna film the part that goes into the deer skull and then into the tube. And basically what you wanna do is you want two and a half inch mark to there, two and a half inch mark to there, put it in your vise. Your first one will be all the way down. Your next one, you don't want it be a 90 degree angle. You want it more of a 45 or somewhere in there. Basically, that will slide into the deer skull. So, uh, you know, you can kind of test it out and see that's going to ride right on the back side of that, straight up into the skull cavity. And that's where whatever angle you want your skull at, that's where you want it to be. So I want mine to be about like that. Back at you today. Ran out of gas the other day on my welder. Uh, had to go get some more gas and a haircut. Uh, so basically what we got now, you should have something like this. You got your airhead with your uh, aluminum piece mounted on there. And, uh, and then you got these and you weld the little hoops onto there just at the end like that. And that'll hook behind those pieces. And then now you got these two pieces. Clean them up, wire brush, use a little sander to make it look like a brushed look. That'll slide right down in there and turn it however which way you want to turn it. And uh, remember, you can make this section as long as you want to to get your head further away from the wall. You can beef it all up if you got like a big elk head. But for whitetail deer, 
tri-pronghorn, maybe a boar head or something like that, this right here will be perfect. So all we have left to do, I'm gonna sand it a little more to get like a brushed look. I'm gonna put one hole at the top, one hole at the bottom, that's what's gonna mount right into a stud. Uh, you can paint these, but the reason I built it out of aluminum is so I don't have to worry about rust and because I like the look of aluminum. Here you go, we're gonna put it up. We got our arrowhead and what we did, we got our holes drilled and we've got some countersink holes right there too. So we went ahead and countersank it so we can use these uh, stainless steel screws like this and that way when you put them in they'll be flat. You need it to be pretty flat because you know your other piece is going to slide down in this too. Alright now I'm going to put this buck up there. This is one I killed last year. And you can see the back of the skull plate. This right here. Slide in and hook behind those little bone things right there. Just slide in. And then you can take that slide it right in there. Turn it whichever way you want to turn it. We're going to leave ours straight out so it'll match all the rest of them. So you can see this is what they look like when you got several of them up there.